hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the find first child function and then the wait for child function so before we start the video please make sure to like and subscribe with notification bell on so you won't miss any of my videos all right let's get started so first uh we need we need to open the explorer properties and then the output so to open those tabs uh, just go to view right here then press explorer properties and and output just press them if uh, if you haven't opened them yet uh, all right now we're going to insert a part to insert a part ju just press the part here near the toolbox then we're going to insert a script we're going to insert a script in server script service just press the plus thing in the server script service then press script then your script will be inserted now now we'll we will uh, remove the world print hello world uh, print hello world yeah we will remove that so now let, let's get started on doing the find first child and then the wait for child function so first we're going to be learning uh find first child so let's create a variable called part so basically we're going to make a a function of a part so it's like this a game dot workspace dot part like that then you can like uh, do anything with a part maybe you can like uh, change the brick color mm. random uh, and just going to make the color random uh, so when we press run or f8 oh wait i i think i did something wrong Part dot red color. I, I think I did something wrong. It's because uh, it's because of this. Uh, the thing you saw in the output, it uh, the color red. It means I I had an error. Dot new. Maybe like that. Okay, let's see if there's an error or not. Okay, let's just pick a random color. How about white? All right, you see it's white color. Uh, if we if we go if you if you click this, you will see the brick color is white here. And then if we press stop, it will turn back to medium stone gray or the original color of a block. Maybe uh, you can also use the find first child part. And so you type uh, colon. Yeah, make sure you don't type dot. Make sure you type colon. Then find first child. Open parentheses and close parentheses. Then strings on it. Inside of the strings, you you type part. So basically, what the find first child does is like uh, you ha you have to you have to uh, mention the the service uh, like workspace. Then you will type find first child. It's go it's basically going to find the child of the workspace. It for example, I type parts. It's going to find the parts inside of the workspace. Uh, is like the script's going to like a uh, uh, game dot workspace. Okay, I'm going to find the workspace. Uh, find first child parts. Okay, so I'm going to find the part. Okay, then you the script will uh, create the variable. So if we press run, it is the color white. Look. If we press it and then go on properties, it says it's brick color white. Uh, yeah, that's how the find first child works. Now let's learn about the wait for child. 
Mm, okay, let's delete this. Let's learn about the Rape for Child. Rape for Child part. So, so Rape for Child uh, does uh, is going to wait for the child that you mentioned in inside the open parenthesis and close parenthesis. So, if we press run, you see that it turned into color white. If you are confused, uh, you don't know what's the difference between the rate for child and then find first child. Uh, uh, let's create this rate. Local local part friend was game dot workspace. Wait, I spelled the game wrong. Game dot workspace. Find first child part. Okay, uh, let's toggle comment this one. Oh, wait, part friend. Okay, let's toggle comment this one. To toggle comment, uh, just uh, select these, then right click, then toggle comment, uh, control, control slash. Or you can just right click, and then uh, press toggle comment. Or you can just add two dashes here. See? Okay, so the find first child. So when I when I delete the part here, uh, and then uh, I still remain the script like this, then press run. It, it's going to find the part forever. It's going to find the part forever. The part isn't even in the workspace. So that, that's why uh, there's an error here. O okay, now let's do the uh, wait for child. Oh, what? L let's do the wait for child. Let's toggle, let's toggle comment this. Then uncomment the wait for child. Okay, so there's no part in the workspace, right? And then you, you just saw the output uh, clear, clear earlier because it was still waiting for the wait for child uh, if wait for child part is going is waiting for the part and then it says your infinite yield in uh, infinite yield possible on workspace colon wait for child part uh, so this means it's waiting for the part forever when the part is not even here. But when I insert the part, then press run. It's going to be color white. Uh, look, brick color color white. It's because I type this part dot brick color brick equals brick color dot new white. So, so yeah, that's the difference of wait for child and then the find first child. The wait for child is going to wait for the child that you mentioned inside the strings and then. Uh, the find first child is going to have, is going to find the child that you mentioned that you mentioned in the strings. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and then I hope you learn something new from me. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. <coughs>